This is Markmaster4248 here in Stone's tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make um, your own styles in Adobe Photoshop. So as you can see, if you go to Essentials here and um, Styles, um, then there'll be some different um, preset styles here that um, are made by Adobe. Um, but in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own styles. Okay, so what you have to do is um, you have to create a new document. Uh, make sure the clipboard, uh, sorry, um, the width is 115 and the height is 115 okay so you can put it larger for better quality or you can just um, increase the resolution okay so um, I think it works best if you put it as transparent anyway you have to um, click OK now uh, just for this example we're just going to put um, a few gradients here so as you can see they're a bit transparent so um, actually um just undo that and create a new file and make another gradient. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to go to um, Edit, Define Pattern, and um, just call uh, put, give this an, a name. So I'll just call this um, Style for Tutorial. But you can call it something different if you want, of course. Okay, so now what you have to do is um, you have to merge um, both of these files by right clicking and clicking merge first of all then you have to double click on the edge here now um, you can add some things like bevels um, okay so um, this is uh, from another tutorial um, of a metal effect which doesn't really work well with this because it's a square I think actually um, I put something wrong here, so anyway it doesn't matter, but um, what you have to do is you have to go to Pattern Overlay, you have to click this thing here and click on the last one. Okay, so uh, as you can see, um, displays it here, and then it should show it in Preview. So I think what happened, might happen is um, that it uh, scales this. Actually, I um, think so. But anyway, um, you have to um, click a new style here. Give it a name. I'll just call it style. Style for tutorial. Okay, so you need to um, select includes layer blending options. Actually, um, you can unselect that if you want, but um, things like bevels won't be included. So now you've got new styles, so I'll just um, show you um, this style. Actually, I'll make this 1000. Okay, so if I um, make some new text, I'll just call it test. Okay, so now if I um, actually, um, if I uh, scroll down here and click this um, style, then as you can see it has this nice metal effect um, so I've got another tutorial um, there'll be a link in the description and um, actually just go to my home page and look for it if there isn't a link in the description so thanks for watching this tutorial please rain comment this video um, and subscribe and check out my other tutorials and videos